So now let's go to Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. If object A exerts a force on object B, then object B always exerts an equal and opposite force on object A with the same magnitude but in the opposite direction. Action and the reaction forces, they will act on different objects. A little bit confusing, let's take a look at the next slide. So over here is a picture of a hand. Imagine a hand punching a wall. So the action over here would be the fist hits the wall, which means the fist exerts a force on the wall. So according to Newton's third law, the equal and opposite reaction would be that the wall hits the fist. The wall would exert an equal and opposite force on the fist. So you can see that the equal and opposite reactions are on different objects. The first one, the force will be on the wall. And the second one, the force will be on the fist. Let's give it a try. In these examples below, I'd like you to solve them and write down the answers that you have. Each of the five, A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so once you're done, let's go through the answers. So for the first one, head bumps ball. And therefore, the opposite reaction will be ball bumps head. So you're supposed to draw the arrow downwards like this pointing down. And remember, the, the length of the arrow symbolizes how much force there is. So you should mimic the length of the original arrow in your opposite arrow. The next one will be windshield hits bump. Therefore, the opposite reaction will be bump hits windshield. And therefore, the arrow should be like this. Bat hits ball. Ball would hit bat. The arrow will be the opposite direction like this. Hand touches nose nose touches hand. Therefore, the arrow will be in this direction, like this. Hand pulls on flower. Flower pulls on hand. So the flower will actually be pulling backwards on the hand in an equal and opposite reaction.